What's up guys, welcome back, to, welcome back to another video and in today's video we're gonna be working on the E91 M3 Finally guys, we're gonna be trying to strip this thing down as much as we can in the last video of this car We pretty much just took the engine and transmission out in today's video We're gonna try to clean up that engine bay as much as possible because we're gonna get this thing painted as soon as possible. But before we actually get into today's video, today's video is sponsored by Simply Carbon Fiber. Simply Carbon Fiber is a company that I've been working with for a very, very, very long time and I absolutely love their products. They're not a company with one product. They sell carbon fiber walls, something as sick as this. Look at this bad boy. This is a minimalistic forged carbon fiber. This is a new release. And you can easily put your cards in or take your cards out, which is so, so, so nice. And because it's a minimalistic wallet, it, you don't really need to hold much stuff with you. This is your wallet. This is what you take with you. It looks super stylish. Every time I pull it out with my friends trying to buy something, it just looks so, so, so good. And I always get a compliment for it. And at the same time, if you guys are wondering, um, Nor, but I have cash. I don't only have cards. Well, there's your, there's your answer. It also holds cash, which is super nice, super easy to access. And this is not the only product that they sell. Before actually getting this forged carbon fiber beautiful wallet, I actually had the regular carbon fiber beautiful wallet. And just to show you guys that this is now my new wallet and I use this absolutely all the time. This was my wallet that my wife got me and and I, Nora and Isra. This is the wallet that she got me custom made. And you know, I love my wife and all, but I love myself a carbon fiber wallet. So this is what I ended up upgrading to. And this is my newest edition. And like I said, guys, they don't only have wallets. They have these beautiful watches. I have one of their watches right right now. This is a forged carbon fiber with this steel black frame. It looks so, so, so good. I love the attention to details and all their watches. I'm probably gonna be getting myself another one pretty soon here. And they also sell glasses and so many other accessories. So if you guys wanna check them out, make sure you use my code down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. officially back inside so I was working on that car but I did get a little bit hungry and as I'm stripping everything down I'm like Nor I really hope you remember how to put everything back and that is the hardest thing taking things apart is one thing you can literally just take things apart all day but remembering where every screw and every part goes that's even harder. Um, so any is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get something to eat. I have been recording every little detail because I wanna go back in this video and see everything that I removed so I can put it back. I'm stripping that engine bay completely to get a proper paint job in that engine bay. So when we get everything back together, it's gonna look like an OEM paint job, especially considering that I'm also looking for an individual OEM paint job as well. So let me know down below guys, what color we should end up painting this E91, mainly because, hey, we're getting this E90 M3. It does come, we are gonna be reusing a lot of the panels. So if you think about it, it would would be smarter and more cost effective to just paint it the, the, the color of the E90. Because the E90, we're gonna be using the whole front end. We're using the hood, the fenders, the bumper. That's the whole front clip right there. We're gonna be using probably the two front doors. Um, the side skirts are gonna be the exact same thing. And 
that's about it. The rear doors will have to use uh, the, the ones that are on this car, the rear tailgates, the rear quarters. Um, we're actually gonna be, we're gonna have to get those painted because we're gonna try to make those whiter. But I mean, as, as far as like the whole front clip, we could use the OEM paint and just paint match the rest of the car, which you guys will see the paint of the M3 once we actually get the M3. The reason why it's so hard to think about, obviously it's more cost effective just going with the color of the E90 M3. But at the same time, while we're stripping everything down, this is the time if I wanted to go with the individual color to do an individual color. Um, the only reason I would want to paint the original E90 M3 color um, is just because we can end up wrapping it in the end and just do some kind of custom wrap, who cares? But again, let me know down below guys, should we end up uh, just painting it the regular color of the E90 M3 that ends up coming in and then wrapping it or should we go with the individual color which is what I'm leaning towards and what color would that be? But anyways, um, let's go ahead and get something to eat. But before I actually do that, I do have a new addition to the family I do want to show you guys. So I don't know if you guys know, that's Muffin right over there. Muffin's actually a little, little, little baby. So um, she's about a year old and uh, she is a tabby short hair, very little girl. And uh, I mean, I love her, I love her to death, but I decided I wanted to get her a sister. So we went ahead and got her Mocha. So that's Muffin, that's Mocha. We have Eminem. Um, <laughs> hey Mocha, come here, come here. Come here little baby, look how tiny this little girl is. Mocha, other way. Cats are the most, they're so smart. Hey baby, hey baby. <laughs> And they absolutely love each other. That's something that I'm super happy about. I literally just got Mocha four days ago and they absolutely love each other, which is a huge plus because a lot of cats end up being territorial and that's what it was the first day, but Mocha was really friendly since day one and now Muffer's literally taking her in as if as if Mocha is her child because she literally cleans her butt. She literally wipes her and everything. So that is a huge, huge, huge plus. I'm just super happy they're getting along. Now let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm eating. And with the power of editing, this is my meal. So I've been eating a lot of grapes lately and I've been eating salads lately with water. I usually drink Coke, eat, you know, asada fries, burgers, stuff like that that I really do enjoy and that really makes me happy. But at the end of the day, when I eat that stuff, I don't feel happy at the end of the day. During the day, I'm happy, but at the end of the day, I'm depressed every freaking day because I'm eating stuff that I shouldn't be eating. So I'm trying off this new, like, healthy diet and I'm also starting to hit the gym again. I have gained a lot of weight in 2022 and trying to accomplish a healthy weight and a healthy diet is just as important as trying to accomplish my RA dream. So if you guys noticed, I'm gonna be trying to eat healthy things in the videos. So if you guys noticed that I'm not eating healthier things in the videos or I'm posting something on Instagram that's not healthy, please encourage me to eat a little healthier. Everyone needs a little bit of a push. Eating healthier is probably a harder discipline than working harder. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and munch down on this so we can get back out there and knock out that E91 engine. And now it's time to get back working. Let's get back to it, guys. Guys, I'm just not gonna lie. Getting quick jacks is probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. Like, look how easy it is now to work underneath the car. I mean, yeah, it probably took about maybe five or 10 minutes to set up, but once it's set up, guys, this is so easy to get up and down, up and down. And uh, this is definitely gonna help me start removing a bunch of things in the bottom end of the car. Reason being is that this, I believe this connects to the DMTL pump that goes all the way to the back. And the DMTL pump on these cars, 328s and 52 cars, if you guys look right down over here, it's not on this side, this pretty much just then muffler sits over here. It's right underneath this. You guys can see it right over here. But the problem with that is 335s have a dual exit exhaust from here and over there. And the DMTL pump, I believe, is relocated towards either the middle or further back. So all the connections for the pump is on this side. And if we actually relocate the ones from the M3 to this car, we should be able to use an M3 exhaust system in this car. Now, I'm not exactly 100% sure this is going to work. Now, the, I believe the wagon is a little bit longer. And if it is a little bit longer, I don't know if it's going to mount in the exact same position. What I mean by that, I mean, like, I don't know if the lines on the m3 are just as long as this so will it actually hook up properly i do need to do some research on that but in the meantime i'm not actually gonna be working underneath here just yet i'm trying to remove all the wheels and actually drain all the brake fluid so we can actually start removing all this stuff over here as well again i want this to be a very 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 proper paint job and all this stuff being over here is preventing this area right over here from getting painted properly so that being said let's go ahead and take off every single wheel and drain all the brake fluid so then eventually we just go ahead and disconnect all these lines and remove all these lines that are going to all four wheels.
after all of this guys this is where we're at in terms of the engine bay now all this stuff definitely needs to get painted as you guys can see all this stuff that was covered up um is the original paint of the car so we want to get that stuff painted as well it doesn't look like we removed much but we've removed absolutely so much little things little brackets trim pieces wires this side is pretty much more stripped than this side this side i still have to pull a couple more wires and things like that but primarily i need to remove this brake booster and i need to actually do that from the inside of the car so i figured before actually getting to the inside of the car start ripping out the dash and everything like this i actually want to rip apart the rest of the panels on this car just so we have more access and we can actually move around the car so much freely and especially on this side right over here um this door doesn't even open so we need to actually cut it and do a bunch of stuff to get this door off so the goal is try to remove all four doors and then pop possibly start ripping apart the seats and then get this carpet off we'll see how much we'll get done in today's video but get my primary goal right now guys is to just get these four doors off technically we already have one so three more doors And just like that guys this quarter panel is good to go actually there's actually no issues with this side at all this area over here is good we have both doors knocked right off so that's looking so 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 good now we can actually start working on the interior so much easier the hardest door was that door right over there because that's the side that was smashed and in an accident now I don't know if you guys know this was not an auction car I actually picked this up locally I have the title on hand the reason I picked this one up exactly is because this one honestly I paid $1,200 for this car I ended up parting out a lot of little things on here I'm into this car pretty much at zero so this car is pretty much free right over here so this is a perfect chassis to start working on our build with and not many people can say that they have an e91 for free so that is super 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 nice now the damage is right over here this car apparently had a engine uh a pretty much a blown engine and uh some body damage as well yes apparently i had a blown engine i actually gave this engine to my boy or he ended up putting that engine into his x5 and unfortunately uh he was driving it two days later throw a camshaft code and it's literally like metal all over the oil pan so that is a huge 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 misfortune right there um i mean i didn't even know that buying this car i thought it was a run and drive when i bought it i, I thought it was just cosmetic damage i mean i was literally driving this thing two days prior before we actually parted it out so it was just super crazy that i ended up having actually a blown engine pretty much well technically a damaged engine on top of the cosmetic but i mean for 1200 and i'm so far already sold about 1200 worth of things on here i'm into it zero and i'm pretty happy with that now in terms of cosmetic damage i'm actually super happy from the way the door looked i thought it was pretty much buckled in all the way in here this is actually all straight which means that we don't need to actually take this to a frame shop which is super nice this section right over here is damaged but i do think this can actually get fixed pulled out and fixed i don't think that's too difficult if anything we will take this skin off of our e90 m3 just replace that section right there and this section actually from here all the way up here straight down is going to be off of an e90 m3 um this scrapes is actually this is all scrapes there's no dents back here this will get sanded down not a big deal um all of our dents are right on this line right here and deep right over here so all that's gonna get cut out replaced anyways so that is a huge plus but yeah guys <laughs> this is looking more and more like a project every single day I don't know if I mentioned it earlier but I pretty much disconnected all the brake lines for the rears and the fronts um so pretty much there is no brake fluids going to any of the brakes the only thing that's gonna be able to stop this thing when we get it rolling is that e-brake so this section right over here is pretty much the last section that I need to actually remove on this front end of the car just so they can actually 
paint all these intersections. So to remove that, we actually have to remove the carpets and everything. I don't, I'm pretty sure actually I said that earlier. So yes, honestly, that's probably gonna be another day. It is super hot back here. I need to figure out some kind of way to get shade over here. If any of you guys have a good idea to actually like put something that back here that will give me shade, but at the same time, not make my house, what I was saying was, at the same time, not make my house look bad. Let me know down below. But yeah, honestly guys, I think for one day, I think that we did uh, quite a bit of work here and I'm pretty happy with the results. I think tomorrow, honestly, I'm gonna try to get this rear bumper off, try to remove this rear tailgate, strip the tailgate. I'm actually replacing this tailgate. I wanna get an LCI, so I need to find an LCI one. I know a lot of you guys told me that I should do an LCI conversion. That is exactly my plans for this, so do not worry. I need to remove that bumper as well. And then tomorrow, I think I'm gonna try to remove as much of the interior as possible as well so we can get down to the bare wires. The A90 M3 should be coming in any day now. We ended up picking that car from Texas, so it is on its way here. And hopefully once it gets here, I should show you guys the car that we ended up getting. Obviously, it's been in an accident. It's a co-park car, but at the same time, I think it's a pretty good accident because I do think we can pretty much use almost everything on that car, which is a huge, huge, huge plus. I did end up paying a pretty penny for that car, but I mean, hey, guys, it's gonna be insane if that car is as mint as I think it is. But yeah, guys, that is gonna have to conclude the video. I need to clean up all this mess over here, call it a night, probably go inside, get some water. It is so, so, so hot out here. Again, if you guys have any ideas for this section back here, let me know. I need some shade while I'm working, but without further ado, that is gonna have to conclude the video. If you guys are excited to see the E91 M3 project come to life, make sure to smash the like button, support your boy. This is gonna take so much time and so much money to become a reality, but I just have, I, I cannot wait to see this thing become what I actually envisioned. But without further ado, guys, that's gonna have to conclude the video. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.